Hello, welcome to Tea Fairy Storytime. Today's story is Let's Talk About Interrupting by Joy Berry and illustrated by John Costanza. Let's talk about interrupting. This was originally published in 1984 by Joy Berry. Let's talk about interrupting. I wish he would stop interrupting me. Hoo-hoo, wee-wee, whoop! Hmm, I wonder what he's interrupting her from doing. Maybe she's trying to study for school. You are interrupting when you do something that makes it difficult for people to think. She's making so much noise that I can't think. Or he is, I'm sorry. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah, she's trying to study, and he's just making a whole bunch of noise, and it's making it hard for her to do her homeschool. You are interrupting when you do something that causes people to stop what they're doing. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to read. You are interrupting when you talk when other people are talking. This is a book about, or this is a book. It's all about, the last book I read was all about a boy who blah, 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 blah. My friend calls people to interrupt like that and interrupt the source. When son, someone interrupts you, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? I don't like the way he always interrupts me. Blah, 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 blah. When someone interrupts you, you may feel frustrated and angry. You may think, I do not enjoy being around this person. Or you may decide to stay away from the person. Excuse me, but I really must go. Blah, blah, blah. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want others to interrupt you, you must not interrupt them. Dad looks pretty busy. See, Dad's working on the lawnmower. I think I'll wait until he's finished before I ask him to play with me. That was pretty nice of her. Try not to interrupt people who are thinking or trying to do something. Avoid talking to them. Do not make noises that would bother them. Do not do things that would distract them. Mom is not finished with her work. I'll just wait and talk to her later. Mom is working very hard, especially right now when a lot of moms and dads are working at home and kids are going to school at home. It's important to try to give people time and space to finish their projects. Try not to interrupt people who are talking to you. Allow them to finish talking before you speak. Say excuse me if you must interrupt them. And so we went over to Patty's house and we... Try not to interrupt people who are talking to each other. Do not talk with them or listen to what they are saying unless you want to do so. Do not get in, in between people who are talking to each other. Say, excuse me, if you must interrupt people who are talking. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but someone wants to talk to you on the phone. And she's talking to her mom, who is having a conversation with her friend, and they're having tea, or maybe they're having coffee. Try not to interrupt people who are talking on the telephone. Avoid talking to them while they're on the phone. Do not do anything that would make it difficult for them to hear. Do not do anything that would make it difficult for them to think about what they are doing. I was going to ask Dad a question, but I'll wait until he is finished talking on the telephone. And that's the old 
kind of telephone. We don't have those kinds of telephones very often anymore. Most people have cell phones now or house phones that don't have the cord. Try not to interrupt people who are listening to something or watching TV. Avoid talking to them while they're doing what they're doing. Do not make noises that would make it difficult for them to listen. Do not change the channels on the TV unless they want you to do so, and do not get between them and the TV. Since he is watching TV in this room, I'll listen to my tape recorder in my bedroom. Well, we don't have tape recorders anymore, but CD players. Try not to interrupt people who are watching a movie or a performance. If you must pass in front of others to get to your seat, do so quickly and quietly. Do not talk loudly or make other disturbing noises in the theater. Eat your food neatly and privately if eating is permitted. Do not hit or kick the seat in front of you or beside you. If possible, stay seated until the movie or performance is over. I wish I hadn't invited John to the movie never again. Here she is we're trying to watch her movie and he's going blah 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 blubba 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 and see how all the eyes are angry and the person sitting next to him is mad and she's mad too because he's talking during the movie. That's never nice. Try not to interrupt people who are resting or sleeping. If possible, stay away from them. Be as quiet as you can so you will not disturb them. Mom and Dad need their rest. I'll be as quiet as I can so that I will not wake them. She's going to go brush her teeth and she's got her slippers on. No one likes to be interrupted. If you do not want people to interrupt you, you should not interrupt them. Thank you for not interrupting us. And that is the end of Let's Talk About Interrupting by Joy Berry and illustrated by John Costanza. I hope you enjoyed the book. Have a nice day.